Hi and welcome to the JavaScript Cornerstone tutorial series. In this series you're going to be learning all the basic fundamentals on how to use the JavaScript programming language. Uh, we're going to start off with the basics and move on to more advanced topics throughout the whole series. Uh, the very first thing we're going to do is set up our environment for programming. If you've used other programming languages such as PHP or Ruby, uh, you know that you have to set up a server on your local machine and you have to go through a whole process of setup like that with JavaScript you don't have to do any of that it's very easy to get started so it's a great programming language for uh, for beginning students uh, you don't have to set up your uh, system as a server or anything like that uh, all we're gonna do is open up the Chrome browser if you don't have uh, Google Chrome uh, the easy way to go get it is open up any web browser and simply go to Google slash Chrome and then just come here and download Chrome. That's what we're going to be using throughout this whole series on learning how to program in JavaScript. So the very first thing we're going to do is go up to this top right hand corner and go down to tools and click on the JavaScript console. You could also hit control shift J and it will do the same thing. I'm going to drag it up and so we're taking up the whole window right here and so you see the little cursor uh, right here on the corner this is where we can input our JavaScript and test it out so we're going to start this first lesson is going to just focus on some very basic things such as uh, how you uh, set up variables in JavaScript so to set up your first variables you're just going to type in the letters var and that's short for variable and then you're going to give a name for whatever that variable is and JavaScript does have some rules on uh, naming practices so uh, a good rule of thumb just make sure you start off your variable with a lowercase letter uh, don't try to put in any special characters don't put any uppercase characters anything like that and so we're gonna do uh, first name and so we'll type in first and then a convention this isn't something that's required but most JavaScript programmers uh, use something called camel case programming or a camel case uh, syntax so we're gonna do first name and you see that I actually capitalize name and then from there you're going to do an equal sign and then quotations I'm going to do double quotations and my first name is Jordan and then so we'll end the quotations and then click on uh, the semicolon and so this is going to set up our very first variable so we're going to do var first name equals Jordan and just hit enter and it comes up undefined because I'm not actually returning anything but this is stored in here so if I would want to print that out uh, or if I want to just see and make sure that it is stored I can run a uh, mm -hmm. alert go alert and instead of typing in my name I can type in first name and you can see it completes it for me and in the semicolon hit enter and you can see right here it says uh, the page is alerted uh, Jordan or the page says Jordan so it took this right out of that name and popped it up when I hit alert uh, the other thing that you can do is I could do uh, console dot log and don't worry if you're not familiar with any of this uh, syntax because we're gonna get into all of this I'm just doing it to show you what the variable is hit enter and you can see it prints out Jordan right here uh, we can change the name when you uh, set up a variable you can go and change it after you're done and if you're going to change a variable uh, you don't have to do the var again you can just do first name equals and we'll say David and now it's now uh, as David so if I'm going to do alert or I'll do a console log just to keep it right in front of us uh, first name 
you can see now that variable has the value of it has been changed to David. So if you're not familiar with programming at all, and this is uh, this is something you're wanting to learn, the best way to think of variables are like containers. They by themselves don't actually do anything. All they do is they hold values. So this variable first name started off by holding Jordan and then we changed it to hold David. So now anytime we want to call David for anything, so say we're wanting to print out something, we can print out uh, David, we could switch it to a different name, anything like that. But as you're using JavaScript or really any programming language at all, you're going to want to have a very clear understanding on how variables work. Uh, and the next thing we're going to get into is something very closely related to variables, which are strings. And that's exactly what names are. So uh, in the next lesson, that's what we're going to get into.